What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 34 and today's topic will be uh, how you can create page number within your PDF when you are uh, dealing the PDF file with respect to Platypus Flowable. For example we have seen there are two ways of creating PDF file one you can use in Canvas or another one you can use like uh, Platypus and from the Platypus Flowable you can directly use the document format to create your PDF and for canvas or when you are going to create pdf file in, with canvas how to create page number for that tutorial you can refer to the last tutorial which is tutorial 33 but if you are using or if you are creating your pdf file from the platypus flowable using document template format for that tutorial i will be going to uh, show you how to create pdf pdf or sorry the page number for the pdf okay so there is not much to discuss from the theory part it will be directly coding part so let me uh first of all i just create some junk files so let me delete those things first okay this one let me it was the last tutorial if you see here we created our like pdf file using canvas the page number is written so i'm not going to discuss that thing here but you guys can just go through the tutorial 33 or just go to our playlist for report lab we will find it so let me just rename this thing first well let's not rename so let me rename this thing okay okay now we'll start writing the code so it will be from report lab dot platypus import paragraph import simple document template and import page break so these are the things we need then we can create from report lab dot leap dot styles uh, uh, get sample style sheet and last thing from report lab dot leap dot units import centimeter now we'll create the pdf file pdf will be simple doc template and we'll give the file name as tutorial 34 is always the same for us and we'll create one flowable object this is the blank list then we'll define the one variable with style equals styles equals to get sample style sheet okay and now we'll define one text and for that text it will be we'll just use simple text okay hello from total technology this is going to be very simple text and the paragraph para text is going to be Well, I just forgot this thing. So, para text is going to be para 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 paragraph. Okay, and then our text and the style will be styles normal. This is always same. If someone is watching our channel for the first time or the disc tutorial first time, it will be difficult for them to understand. So, I'll highly recommend you guys to just go go to youtube search for report lab complete tutorial you will get one complete series from total technology and you will definitely understand what we are doing actually so this is the thing and now what will happen probably okay this is done this is done this is done so now what i'll do i'll just uh, create this thing like uh, flow underscore obj dot append and there i'll put para underscore text and pdf dot build going to be flow underscore obj okay this is the thing but now for the page number we need to give two 
diff to variable names okay so for that on on first page another one is on letter on letter why this is not coming I'm not sure why this is not coming let's write something I'll just keep it like this this is coming okay so this this just keep this thing like this and probably this is done so I need for I in range 1 to 10 this and after that we need to just do to the go to the next page or just append something for the next page so for that we need this page break page this BRE page break like this okay but now we need to define one method to assign some variable sorry value for this thing for that let's define definition go num page we'll define let's say anything like uh, flow document and we'll just this will be pdf okay like this and after that we'll just keep s equals to flow doc dot get page number f equals to str s we're just converting this to string then s dot draw centered string and this will be probably let's say 310 and the string will be s and then we'll just save it let's see dot save state that's it so now we'll pass this thing or write this thing num page and here also go num page that's it so what is going to happen it will create 10 page pdf file and every page will be written with this thing mm, hello from total technology and each page will be having the page number written in black and the location will be 310 something around this position okay so let's run this thing let's check well it is saying str object has no this thing okay sorry so there is a mistake this is going to be like flow doc and also this is going to sorry i just give different thing yeah this is nice now this will be okay so let's run this thing terminated so let's refresh this thing is there let open let's open this thing total technology see there is total nine I mean probably one to ten means one to nine definitely it's range so let's find the page number c1 it's two like this so now next thing we would like to change this thing so uh, flow doc dot set set fill color this is going to be um, lab dot leave colors let's dot red let's run this thing So wrong thing something that's why the error okay so let's open this thing see red it's coming in red so this is this is very normal thing and if you are using uh, like um, flowable for that thing definitely you should use this thing so I'm just keeping this everything like together just because uh, 
after that we'll just take a screenshot of this thing and i'll put it there but rather than let me check whether i can just take a copy paste of this thing and put it over here or not yes it's coming so what i'll do i'll just make it a bit small first of all let me no color and size probably 16 is fine no 16 is not fine let me just make it yes 16 is fine so that's it guys this is very simple tutorial how we can create page number when you are uh, like uh, creating or dealing your uh, file object with uh, like this document template flowable document template or platypus and there is another method of creating this thing let's say if you are not using this uh, flowable thing you are di directly dealing with canvas so that time also it is very simple what is going to happen now so i can show you that as well but there is no point like uh, okay i can show you that as well like let's remove the whole thing but that is not the context probably i can just show it like if someone is watching this tutorial it will be easier for them to understand okay i'm just removing the removing the and not the entire thing let me from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas okay so now let's say you are creating the document with this thing bus dot canvas and you gave like tutorial 34 dot pdf and now you want to add the page number right so what is going to happen now uh pdf dot draw center string is going to be the same thing like 310 and there will be str pdf dot get page number okay like this then pdf dot show page like this and after that um, it will go to the next page so probably like this so we can do this thing a couple of times let's try this thing two three times let's see what is happening okay and after that we'll just save this thing pdf dot save now let's run this thing so there will be three pages and every pages will be having the number okay see here it is one here it is two and here it is three this is a very simple thing guys so this is how we can uh, create PDF uh, like page number when you are dealing your PDF file with Canvas object probably I can definitely write this thing then someone will easily understand this thing so just create a duplicate slide and remove this part how to create page number for for PDF file when created using canvas for that this is the code okay so i don't need to well right so we have seen two different ways of methods or ways of creating why there is a this thing is coming this underline thing okay fine okay lol here also some underlines are coming fine nothing underlined nothing underlined okay so this is one way of doing it using platypus flowable and this is one way of doing it using uh, canvas like using not canvas like when you are using canvas what is the way of creating like page number and when you are creating your pdf file using platypus flowable what is the process so there are two things it's very simple very unique unique in the sense definitely you need to write your page number it is not going to be written automatically by the system probably in the next version of the pdf it will be handled automatically 
and uh, but for the latest version of the report lab there is no such changes no such thing and you have to write this thing inside your code or logic okay so that's all friend that's all for today hope to see in the next video but before ending this video guys i'll request you to start writing some sort of code or do some sort of practice if whenever you are getting some sort of pdf file or any sort of design whatever it is coming from like back of your mind or you are just thinking try to develop this thing with your code and if you're getting any error or difficulties just share the design of the layout with me i will try to help you because it will also automatically help me to get some different use cases for the next video and also help you guys to develop and grow further inside your like python and uh, like pdf uh, or report lab uh, like with respect to report lab and this sort of things like until and unless you're not doing practice you will not be able to understand so see this creating page number is a very sm small thing ultimately you need to develop nice looking eye catching reports so that is the thing okay so whatever i'm teaching it is actually element wise very small like there are total 35 to 34 tutorial and each tutorial will give you some sort of understanding of the different components when, when you're marching the every components together then it will give you a complete pdf or report or to uh, like nice looking dashboard so my personal recommendation recommendation is guys just not watching uh, my channel or videos will help you you have to start writing your own code then only it will help you okay so that's all for today that's all for uh, this week probably uh, this weekend i'm not sure whether i'll be able to upload much more videos but uh, i'll try but uh, before ending Please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button. Those are actually watching our channel for the first time, a tutorial for the first time. This is for them also. And special thanks to all, all my Udemy, all of my Udemy students. Because of you guys, this is actually possible to create much more content contents. And hopefully I will try to like speed up uh, like uploading uh, my capabilities much more. Because right now I am quite busy, but definitely I'll do you because I saw many of you are asking for more tutorial. So special thanks to all of my Udemy students uh, and everyone who us are watching our channel from the youtube and if you are finding our videos are relevant or helpful please feel free to share with your family friends whoever is trying to achieve or learn something unique okay so that's all once again have a nice weekend see you take care and bye bye